Hello and welcome to the Speaker Series Spotlight. My name is Ruben Austria from Farmers Insurance. I'm Brad the Brick Critchfield from the Sweatshop Gym. And today we have a very special guest, Lisa Acevedo from CalApps. How are you today? I'm great. Good morning. Thank you for inviting me. No, no thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you. We're glad you made the made the time for us today. Absolutely. All right. Well, we we want to hear all about what you're doing at CalApps. I know that this is a organization that you you know you started a couple of years ago. So and it's helping helping people and he well, specifically students, high school students. Um, so yeah, let, can you kind of get into a little bit what uh, ca the mission of CalApps is, you know, and what the, and the purpose? Absolutely. So California Advancing Pathways for Students, or CalApps, better known as, um, is a brand new JPA. It's a very unique partnership between Bellflower Unified and Linwood Unified School Districts. Mm -hmm. And what we're doing is providing career tech ed classes for students after school. So the unique partnership um, really has been a privilege for me to to work with. Um, Typically, when you work for a school district, you're used to one school district, one culture, one staff. It's really unique to be able to work with two districts, um, two superintendents, board members from both districts, and I'm really privileged to kind of be part of that. Um, I was appointed the CEO, and so we've grown the program basically from the ground up, which is super exciting. Wow. Yeah. And you've been involved in the school districts for quite a long time, right? Yes, yes. So I, I've been working for Belfort Unified for the past 23 years. 23 years? Yes. Oh, rookie Started on the job. Started as a teacher. Oh, yes. boy. Yeah, so you know, probably so, know what you're talking about, huh? So w where did you work at Mayfair? I actually started teaching at Mayfair. I was a seventh grade middle school math and science teacher for about seven years. Seventh grade. That must be rough. No, I love them. Really? That's yes. like the time where I'm, you kind of like. I love them. I just know how I was at seventh grade. Certain so. different things in your body and you start acting yeah. all weird. Right? Why do you got to take Seventh there? grade? No. Eighth grade? Right? <laughs> I just remember being a little, I was a brat. So I just, I, Wait, I picture Wait, you were? It, no. <laughs> I'm not anymore. I've grown, up, I've grown up a little. So middle school is a little unique, I would say that. I mean, it is a transition between elementary and high school, and so you still have students that have a lot of energy and need to kind of run around a little bit versus your high school students that are a little bit calmer and a little, a little bit more secure in what they're doing. So, yes, it is a different age. Yeah. Perfect. But I love them. And, and so you, you – so seventh grade, and then you were also superintendent. Am I making that up? Assistant superintendent. Okay. So yes, I transitioned from teaching in the classroom to an elementary administrator, elementary principal, high school principal, and then to assistant superintendent for the district. Now is that a big jump going from like the the teaching to the administration? Is that a like huge a huge jump? Yes. Is that is that like a wait, are those like like a competing sides? I don't know. I always feel like there's always tension there. No. Um, sometimes there is. There really shouldn't be because you're all on the same team to benefit the students that you're serving. Right. So everyone's mission is the same to assist the students that you're working for. Right. Um, but yeah, sometimes just there's tension. It's just a different position yeah. because when you're in the classroom as a teacher, you think everyone teaches just like you do and everyone's right. classroom is organized just like yours. And when you come out of that classroom and see how different everyone is, it's just, um, I would say, a challenge. Yeah, I'm sure like, like being in the room as a teacher, that's like, that becomes like your own little kind of world right yes. so like everything is kind of insulated in that and then administration you have to look at the big picture and how everything is running right yeah yeah typically. so so you you did that and then you started uh CalApps just uh, a couple years ago yes right? so can you tell us the yeah. you know what was behind it like what was your kind of motivation to to do it and sure absolutely so a few years ago rlp funding um kind of disappeared so the trickle-down flow that um, would impact students in career tech ed classes, that funding source dried up. Mm. When that happened, districts had to de decide, you know, how are they going to continue to serve the students in career tech ed pathways? Um, we all know that it's very important to have students who are college and career ready. Mm -hmm. um, not all students are going to go directly to college after high school, so we want to make sure that we're providing all of our students opportunities. Um, when that funding source dried up, there were about 17 districts that participated in LA County's consortium, and a couple of the districts decided, let's let's do our own thing. And so Bellflower and Linwood decided to join together and start their own program. So a couple of questions cool. just for the people that don't know, because I definitely know. Mm -hmm. uh, what's ROP? Regional Occupational Programs. And so that would have been the old term. I, I call it old. We still okay. use that term, but ROP programs are also serving students with career tech ed classes. Okay. It's just a different term. And then you also <coughs> used another word I didn't know. Uh, JBA? CTE, Career Tech Ed? No, 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 you said another long C word. 
Another it's like long cur- C word. Kurishishikum? <laughs> no, I'll have to look at the review. You're going to have to cut this part because yeah, this doesn't no, sound good. No, no. <laughs> what was all right, it? All right. <laughs> what I know. I'm always curious when I hear a word I don't know. I feel like I'm supposed mm. to. So in terms of uh, courses, like, can you give us kind of an idea? What we offer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So there are 15 different sectors, mm-hmm. uh, 42 different pathways um, broken out within those sectors. We currently offer classes in law enforcement, so police, okay. um, firefighting. So we have a fire academy. We have an entrepreneur class. We have a culinary course, a culinary one in the baking, which is our more advanced course. Mm. We have health occupations where our students are spending part of the time in the classroom, part of the time at Lakewood Regional Center. Um, we have, what am I overlooking? We have careers in education. We have early childhood courses. So we have a, a, wi- so pretty much a wide range yeah. of offerings for I our students. <coughs> I can certainly appreciate that because I, I know for one, I mean, uh, I don't regret anything I did for school, I guess, but maybe I do. It sounds like but you not do. everybody, it you know like what? You do. Not yeah. everybody needs to go to college, you know what I mean? Not everybody, you know, well, not, not ev- everyone people, is knows, sure. people know what they want to do. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Well, and, I, I have and, a, my path, I think, works great for everybody where you just spend seven years in a community college. <laughs> That way you figure out what you want to do. And then you go to... You know, well, and here's and the thing. We're, try, we're trying to avoid that <laughs> right. by allowing students at a younger age... Well, you spend to, so to much money and like that that does not go that's anywhere. True. And, yeah. and so what I do is I, I got a out... a huge problem. So like having yeah. a skill, at least maybe you can gain a skill mm-hmm. and then use that skill to maybe pay for... Your, your, college. Your, your college rather Correct. than jumping right from high school having no real special skills or, or mm-hmm. specific skills and then having to jump from major to major while you try to figure, figure out what, out you, what you, you want to do i think i did yeah. music criminal law that's then, why I, you, then i ended on politics is that why you're so well-rounded I mean, you give so many you know what so many, so many things i'll take it study. maybe that's why <laughs> <laughs> that's um, that, that makes perfect sense yeah it does yeah now and now i know yeah. The beauty of some of our classes, we actually offer courses that are articulated with college, with different colleges, our feeder schools, and so the kids are actually taking it in high school but receiving college credit at the same time. Awesome. So, like so culinary they're kind of arts, if they're like doing culinary arts and they can just jump right into the program and kind of have like a head start. Right, right. That's Absolutely. Awesome. That's great. That's great. And, that, and yeah. so as far as, um, I don't know what to call it, that methodology is becoming a lot more popular nowadays, right? Because... I think this is kind of a perfect uh, alternative to just saying, hey, you know what, I'll go to college and I'll figure it out. So the expectation deal, right? is that our students are prepared for college and career. Right. So it's it's our obligation to make sure that we're providing those students those opportunities, whether they're preparing great. for college or preparing to enter the workforce or wanting to do a little bit of both. Right. Um, that is the expectation, that we offer them those um, courses. I think that's great. And I think especially because so many – so many students are, are pulled in in, uh, in degree directions where it's they're not really going to get uh, job experience from it, like a it's like a philosophy degree or something. It sounds great, and, and, and you might really be interested in that. But the fact is, is that the the employment rates for certain degrees are just going to be much lower than maybe a field that could really use some some capable hands. You, know? you bring up actually a very good point. So one of the things that I do with my board in the month of July, we set our calendar for the upcoming year, and we really look mm-hmm. at um, labor market trends, awesome. and we decide which courses we're going to oh, offer based on labor market trends in LA that's County great. and Orange County, because most of our students will probably be employed uh, in the communities around us. So we do look at you know, what can they do if they take this course? Right. That, I, I think that's exactly the way it should be. Mm-hmm. And I think, I think, uh, I think some, some countries do that a lot more than others. I, I think that we're pretty, uh, we're pretty big on the, uh, the liberal arts as far as just like, uh, that goes, but mm-hmm. yeah, no, I, I like the trade school route. To be mm-hmm. It's fun. Oh, totally. It's fun. One of our brand new classes that we just started, is called uh, Makerspace Fab Lab. It's actually kind of an open classroom environment. So kids come with their interest and they develop a project based on what their interest is. So for the first semester, we're kind of helping them get that started. So for example, we have a drone building unit. The kids are gonna learn how to build the drone and then code it to fly it. That's cool. So it's not just building mechanically something, it's coding on computers. (laughs) Yeah, it's really neat. We have um, digital photography, we have film and video. So we have all the equipment for all of these things. Very we have a cool. green energy unit, so the kids are learning about green energy. So it's pretty unique. 
I feel like that can be coupled with the entrepreneur courses that you you offer. I feel like th those those people are usually the one and the same, the ones that have the very niche. Uh, mm -hmm. To invent know. something new. Yeah. Yeah. That's way cool. And, and how does it work with like funding for CalApps? Good question. So the two participating districts fund the courses. Cool. Um, the beauty of it is uh, you don't have to offer the same courses on both campuses. We actually transport the students around. Mm. So if we have courses offered at the Linwood High School campus that Bellflower Unified students can attend, we bus them over there, and it's free to the students. Mm. If there are Linwood Unified students that want to take some of the Bellflower Unified courses, um, again, it's free to them. We bus them over there. So the beauty of it is it actually is a cost-saving measure for right. both the districts because they're not having to set up double classes at each site. Right. One teachers, site setting up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got it. And then we're having sharing. one class half full, just have one class that's full. Yeah, so. and we would love to have other districts participate with us or other private schools that would be interested in joining. So that's something that you're, you're looking to grow. Absolutely. Now, now what, what is your vision for CalApps? So our hope, obviously, over time is to expand. We want to make sure that we can offer courses in all 15 sectors. Right now, we're in about nine of them. Um, we intend to offer courses in every interest area any area that's applicable based on labor trends around us. Um, we definitely would love to have two or three other districts join us to grow mm -hmm. our program because, uh, again, that only benefits the students. That right. just means they have a wider range of courses available for them to take. So our interest is looking for other partners to join. So what does that take from you? Like, how do, how do you make that happen? It's an agreement. You usually sit down. Um, you start with the superintendent to find out if they're interested in joining the program. Um, it becomes an agreement between the boards. I do have my own separate board that I report to. Um, so our board would want to look at the agreement between another district to work out, I would say, the details mm -hmm. mm. of students joining that partnership. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Very awesome. Well, we, we love to hear you know, what you're doing um, for the community, and specifically for high school students. You do a lot, too. You're really everywhere. Cool. Yeah, you are everywhere. How <laughs> I did you even to be find everywhere. the time? How did you <laughs> even find the time to be <laughs> here? No. Um, well, <laughs> actually, I need to go pretty soon. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm behind, just teasing. Behind, that's a cue. There's one thing I've that's learned is that behind every joke, there's a little bit. Of <laughs> 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 no, no, I no mean, you you really do. I mean, you do, you do a lot, and uh, and you know we we see it, and we, we definitely appreciate everything that you do. Oh, and thank absolutely. You. And and it's it's so great to actually learn about what it is you actually do because I I when you asked me like if I if I looked at the website to like see, I'm like oh no. I've I've known you for a while. I already know. But then I realized I had no idea. So, yeah, no, so thank you. So and this yeah. is the whole thank reason why we do this spotlight, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah definitely. Exactly. So it, it, thank you. It, 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 it's, it's so fascinating, too, because it's something I'm actually really interested in, too. Like that type of like alternative, uh, that alternative uh, education uh, that way. I think it's, it's great. great. So it's actually great to see the students go through it because it you'll yeah. have a group of students that will say, I took the health occupations class. I didn't realize when I do this, if I want to be a nurse, I have to change diapers. I'm not changing diapers. Yeah. I'm out. Yeah. Well, we just saved that student two or three thousands years. Thousands of dollars. Yes. More, thousands more than two thousands. or three years, maybe yeah. even. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, it, it's really neat to see the kids that decide, okay, this is my pathway. I'm going this way. But it's right. also great to see them, you know, make a decision and say, this is not for me. Let right. me try something else. That's really right. our hope. Yeah. You know, it's, it's just as important finding out what you don't like to do yeah. than what you well, like want I, to do. I mean, that's, yeah. ex that's exactly why I, I have six brothers, and I, I would, the, the advice that I always give them when they try to figure out what they want to do is just that it's much easier to steer a moving ship. You can't steer a ship that's standing still. Mm -hmm. So just if you if you think you want to do that, then run Straight full ahead and just do it and dig yeah. in and figure out if that's what you want to do. And if not, jump out as quick as possible and start the next thing and just sprint ahead. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's the only way you're going to find out what you really love doing. Yeah. But just like that gradual kind of movement around and indecision is what, what really handicaps people, yeah. paralyzes them. So I, 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 like, I like this route much better. Yeah, I agree. Well, thank you so much, Lisa, yeah, for being thank here. You again for thanks for your me. time, and thanks Absolutely. for educating. And the you're internet. welcome to come visit anytime. <laughs> come watch us fly drones, or come watch our fire kids. That'd be really cool. I'll, I'll grab Josh, and we'll, we'll learn some stuff from the students because yeah. we're into that stuff. We're, we're, we we turn into seventh graders when we uh, when we when we do that stuff. Yeah, so kid stuff. We'll, we'll, we'll learn from the bigger kids. Okay, great. It. Awesome. Well, uh, guys, that's our episode for this week. Uh, again, I'm Brad the Brick Critchfield from the Sweatshop Gym. And I'm Ruben Austria from Farmers Insurance. Until next week. We'll see you then. Make it a great day.